Welcome SEO Survivors to Weekly Integral Factor. I took a break due to some real life stuff for a week and I returned to us mining for gems I see. It appears to be a pretty tame week in Integral Factor to be honest, so was last week from what I saw. We'll of course get to the new banner with the working girls at the end, but first... A mod step up order will go live later this week, featuring mod skills of course. First step is a 50% off, while the third step will feature a guaranteed 4 star skill, which naturally is guaranteed to be a mod skill thanks to the available skill pool. As I said, this banner will appear later this week towards the weekend and you'll be able to check out the full list of available skills in the order details as well. Before we move on to the event, Weekly Integral Factor is brought to you by GamerTurk t-shirts, posters, stickers and all the like. I'll be updating the prices for the first time since setting them up years ago, which means the prices will be going up at the end of this week. So if you want to have a look into Lens Squad shirts, Klein hoodies or the first day anime style poster, I recommend you do it before the end of the week. I was already supposed to update the prices this week, but as I said, I had other things to take care of the past week. Link to my Teespring page is on your screen, but more conveniently in the description as well as the pinned comment. Do give it a look. Since I was away last week, let's have a look into the hunting event in depth before talking about its minor update. It's a boss rush event featuring gems and proficiency items as rewards. Boss rush means we're fighting three bosses back to back, the Savage Glutton, the Mush Golem and the Nereus the Evil Treant. That's, that's not the Nereus, that's my bad. The common weakness among all three is thrust and you can see the maniac difficulty weaknesses on the screen as well as I go through them. Savage Glutton is also weak to Earth in addition to Thrust, while Mush Golem switches to Holy and Nereus brings it back to Earth once again. It's likely gonna be annoying to fight against changing weaknesses, especially if you're a one-handed sword user like me who cannot match that common Thrust weakness across all three bosses, but you can boost your score by using bonus score skills. Here's a list of them all, however, it's much easier if you just go into the game, try launching the event and the game will show you which bonus skills you have and which ones you have unequipped at the moment. As for the base rewards, the cumulative score rewards include up to 700 arcana gems, 11 medals of combat arts and lots of release crystals of varying sizes. With trader rewards, there's a bunch more valuable stuff to collect as well. So quickly on to the update. Maniac difficulty has been added with today's reset featuring a couple more relatively lackluster rewards as usual. I really don't know why the higher difficulty must have a different reward track if the rewards are so bad anyways. Does anyone even grind these high level ones unless they need more trade material rewards in a very short time? Guild of Guilds is back with the 41st one. Here are the rewards and you'll be fighting Wonder the Fatal Scythe, weak to slash and fire and it resists pretty much everything else and has a bunch of buffs and then stuff, have fun. Double XP from Subquest's campaign is back, a regular favorite for those grinding XP on maps, something I cannot ever get myself to do. The NPC quests you accept on fields will yield double the XP than usual, so time for some mindless map gr <coughs> Even the idea of mindless grind is... is killing me. And that brings us to the Jewel Miner order featuring Asuna, Argo, Sachi and Leafa. A bit of a surprise that such a themed banner does not feature the obvious choice of Lisbeth, but who am I to judge? The first step is a 50% discount, third step is one 4 star guaranteed and fifth step is one 4 star guaranteed from one of the beautiful Jewel Miners featured. <coughs> I, I am actually dying, something got stuck in my throat. Must be all the dust from the mine I guess. Sparkle of Precious Stones Asuna is an Earth Axele Rapier skill. She has higher than usual switch gauge increase if you're interested. She does up to 1720% damage in 6 hits to a single enemy at max limit break. It also grants 3 buff stacks that increase your earth damage by 1% per stack lasting 20 seconds and if used as switch it grants additional stacks also increasing your earth damage by 1% each. The more I do these weekly videos the more it this feels like we created one type of buff, now circle that buff around to all elements with all the skills. It, it really gets boring and uninspiring, although on the other side, there's only so much you can do before things get absurdly specific and complex. Uh, anyways, 
Discover of Rare or Leafa is a Holy Element mod one-handed sword skill. She has higher than usual break gauge accumulation for those breakable bosses. At max limit break, it does up to 1420% damage in two hits to a single enemy. Uh, pretty lackluster, but most mod skills I have come across always feel this way, as they seem to be <laughs> more decent mod fodder. Leafa's mod bonus increases your holy damage by 50% and gives an additional 1200 attack if you have 3 or more Leafa skills equipped, slotting it as a mod only requires 2 slots. Today's harvest, Sachi... is she the harvest or...? <laughs> Moving on, she didn't die in Integral Factor. She is a passive ability that increases your attack by up to a thousand attack when using spears and if the enemy is bleeding, boosts your damage by up to 24% at max limit break. Sounds pretty decent for spear builds I guess, very easy to take advantage for both bonuses. To the unseen vein, Argo is a fire burst dagger skill. She does up to 1360% damage in 4 hits to a single enemy at max limit break. She'll also inflict 3 burning stacks and will give you a fire element buff by up to 9% lasting 15 seconds. When you activate its burst via fire fire slash fire combo, she does up to 3810% damage, an additional 1500 attack if the enemy type is blunt, and if they are afflicted by a status ailment, a 100% buff to attack as well. I love how bombastic burst mode is, it's why I have a hard time switching away from them, despite there being better skills. But that wraps up this weekly Integral Factor, thank you very much for watching, please do leave a like, don't forget to check out Lens Squad and the first day merch, link is in the description. Huge thanks to all members and patrons as always, and until next time, stay cool.